justice. Ultraviolet lanterns are spreading chaos by tapping into people's subconscious view. It's all one giant stupid camera, man. The balance of the world rests. <sighs> Sorry guys, good morning everyone. The camera's frozen. Like always. I didn't even notice. I'm working on getting it fixed. One second, guys. It's an annoying process. There we go. What's up, Star? Welcome back, dude. I completed a lot yesterday. I didn't stream last night. Uh, I was doing a bunch of feats, easy, like those crappy feats that I didn't feel like completing on stream because I thought it'd be boring to watch. So all night yesterday, not all night, but like for a few hours um i was off stream completing a bunch of things and then i was like eh, i don't feel like streaming now i got too tired so i just called it a night for yesterday but i got everything completed i got quite a bit more skill points now let's see how many do i even have but good morning dude i hope you're having a great day yeah no one 139 now. What was that yesterday? 130? Somewhere there. So yeah, I got quite a bit yesterday. I'm just mainly happy I completed all those crappy feats that I didn't feel like completing yesterday. Or I mean, the whole time. All those solo ones, all the open world ones. Yeah, man, it took a while. <laughs> Not gonna lie. It took a fat minute to complete all that. I was like, you know, I was hoping maybe like an hour or two, you know, I'll finish everything uh, and then hop on stream, you know, for like a couple hours before calling it a night. But no, <laughs> it took like three, maybe a bit longer hours. And after that, I was just like, no, thank you, dude. I want to go to sleep. I also set up a new style this morning. Um, hold up. Yeah, controller. This is supposed to be Terminator. It's supposed to be. <laughs> Only thing I'm missing is uh, the face. Which, I mean, this one doesn't look bad, but uh, there was one that, uh, what's it called? You have to complete the Sinestro Corpse. Sinestro Corp something, uh, and I'm missing one, which is Assault and Battery. Uh, Investigation. 
So as soon as I can grab that, whenever I do that investigation, it's like a half Terminator face looking thing. I think it would look a lot better with this outfit. But as of right now, that'll do. I was like for a while trying to figure out uh, what was going to be my controller outfit. I was like, I don't want it to be the same as this. And... I was going with, I was like thinking Rambo, and then I was thinking something else, and I was thinking something else, I'm like, well, uh, I've seen Slug have this, I've seen Slug have this, so I can't go with that, and I don't think I've seen him have Terminator, at least I don't think, so I'll ask him later if he has the Terminator outfit also, I don't think he does though, because when I saw his base with all the armories, uh, I don't think I saw Terminator. So I was like, well, I guess Terminator it is. But Rambo probably would have been the better choice because it looks so, so nice to do that. I've seen quite a few cool ones. So I was like, damn it, I should have probably went with that. But maybe, maybe I'll make one, like two controller ones. I'm not sure. Or maybe two DPS, one Rambo, one this guy. In the near future. But yeah, that was it, man. I, I was... I mean, it did feel good to, you know what I mean, not stream also yesterday. I was like, uh, went to lunch, got on the game after a couple hours. I was like, should I start streaming? Other than I was like, eh, I don't think so. Because I was like, I'm going to start completing all these crappy feats right now on this tune. I don't know how fun it would be to watch me do that. And it took a lot of time, so... I'm glad I got that over with. I don't think I'm gonna be needing to do that anytime soon again because the rest is pretty much Stuff that I can complete I guess while I'm playing. I Just don't really like doing the solo stuff. That's one thing Which is really why I was holding off completing everything Oh, uh, hey guys, welcome to the stream. Yeah, hold up, let me show you. Uh, deeds. Okay, um... This is all done. Finally, this is all done. Took me a long time to complete all of that. Uh, styles I'm still working on though. There's still quite a few that I need, but mainly I'm finally glad I'm done with all of this crap. This is like six or five points for completing all of that, or skill points. So I was like, damn, you're telling me I was missing that many skill points for not completing all this solo crap? I mean, it didn't, it didn't do that much, but still, six is six. I think a total it was like eight or nine, which I definitely say isn't too bad that I was missing that many for something easy to complete. What the heck? All right, I changed my style. I need to go imprint it. I started using this thing. I need to go imprint it to this style. How's work this morning, by the way, dude? Oh, 
Ooh, that's what I wanted to do also. I wanted to see which would be better. The bazooka on this tune or... Not this tune, but this outfit. Or leave the pistols. Because I also got a different pistol set up for the back. Let's take a look. So... That... Back... I finally bought this, um, Clown Prince Bazooka. Mm. I think it'll look better. It doesn't look good on this tune, uh, this style. Gotham Outlaw. There was the other one. I want to see what's the difference between this one and the other one. Right here. Oh, this one looks cooler, I guess. Yeah, this one looks pretty cool, too. Let's see. No, I still think the other one's better. <laughs> With the two pistols. Nice, very nice, dude. Gotta love those easy days, right? <laughs> when you get them. It's rare, but... You definitely get those easy days. I need to get rid of this outfit. Aaron, what is up, dude? Good morning. This is backplate, right? Yeah, this is a backplate. What about this? 300, okay. So I can get rid of that. How are you doing, my man? Back belt. Damn it, why are they all green, too? Give me something purple. Give me something even rare, dude. All green crap. 304 mask. This is 300, what about mine? 302. I guess I'll just grab it for DPS. <laughs> 300 belt. Already got that, okay. Three hundred shoes, two ninety eight. I guess we can keep that then and have to imprint it a bit later. Okay. All right, let's get this going. Man, I'm, honestly, these events are a lot of work, man. Doing this every day is like ridiculous. Can you imagine having like, I can't believe I was doing that on all my other tunes, dude, doing this same stuff over and over. I'm even doing this tune in my electric once in a while. Well, not once in a while, I guess I still do electric, but even that feels a little tedious and crap ton of work doing the same thing over and over. Even on one tune, it's a lot of work to do this event crap every day. I mean, yeah, the rewards are decent, I guess, depending what you want out of it, but it's definitely a lot of work. Oh, is somebody fighting him? Oh, no, never mind. I thought somebody was fighting this guy.
Red Hall Crawler. Just because I need the kill, I guess, for the mission complete today. Hey everyone, good morning guys. Oh shit, why are you attacking me? Holy crap. Man, I really need double artifact XP already. So I could use my metal and at least level up these damn soda cola bottles. Cause having it at level zero it's definitely not doing me justice. <laughs> as well as a bunch of my artifacts. I have so much metal that I need to use. Wow. Can't believe I attacked the stupid egg. Good thing I drank that, I would have died. Holy crap. Was he attacking me? I don't even know. Um, I was gonna say, really, nobody got me out. Thank you, man. Um, need more for Athena. Need for let's try and see if anybody's doing tower. Cause I don't really want a random team. Let me just type it in, I guess. Hopefully somebody invites me. Zip it, man. Okay. I guess I'm just going to queue up. I'm not trying to wait. Duo, I can do a duo by myself. Oh. Pretty much running myself anyways. Three fifty two. At least I got a higher level this time around. Ah, I gotta start remembering to click triangle instead of one by one. What is he? Fire. I 
Yeah, yeah, he's fire. He should be fine then. Instantly drops me. Oh, you biscuit. Okay, so here, he's gotta break my thing. That thing hurts a lot. This one's purple already. I guess I'll do controller. Goodness, what's happening? Oh crap. And that still hit me. <clears throat>
I'm so surprised I didn't die there. Okay, this is 302. Chest here is 300, okay. 304, 304. I will help. I should probably leave the one I have on for now. Wow, he actually died. That's the first time I've seen somebody die here. These are purple, 305. Gloves, gloves. These are also purple, 303. Okay. Sucks that purple gear is weaker than even sometimes green and blue. The drop rate sometimes don't make sense in this game. It isn't purple it's supposed to be considered better. Hey guys, welcome back. DPS, heal for TSDE. No idea what that is. Let's just queue up for it and hope we find a good team. Okay. Please be a healer, at least have a healer. The 
distress and a mind that's not controller and tank. Not real anymore. It's an ambush. And then we should probably be fine. Oh well, there's a healer too. <laughs> Even better. Oh, Miss Poseidon. Didn't I play with her before? This place looks cool. And she changed to DPS. This looks cool. I haven't seen one like this yet. Look at this. Huh. First time I've seen one like that. What is this? Of course I get attacked. Who's the tank? Phantom? Atomic? You should really be up front, my man. Why was she attacking the barrel? This place looks pretty cool. Looks like a nightclub. Oh crap. Nice. That was a good hit. turns man
go ahead and open this. Three oh four. I already have a three oh four, right? Yeah. Holy crap. Hey guys, welcome to the stream everyone. Whoa. That's a cool freaking entry. A lot of crap though. Literally it looks like somebody just threw a bunch of stuff in here. Dang, that's a lot of stuff there. Look at this. Hmm. Controller died. Does he not know to get into the red circles? I just got my super too. There we go. that good. This is taking a while. I thought he would have been dead by now. Oops. 
Gotcha, finally, holy crap. This shit took way too long. Three oh four, I think it's better. Controller two ninety, way better. Nice. Okay. I don't even remember what it was. And I was looking at it too. It was laugh. What did I press? I did click square. And it still hit me. Touches on. Thank you. Okay, so after this, I think I could go and fix my armory and then uh, maybe do that off stream and then switch tunes, I guess. <clears throat> Get the dailies done first. We'll leave you alone. Can't wait till Witch Queen comes out. A whole month away, man. I probably should start playing Destiny again here soon, though. I need to start catching up on that. I'm so behind, I haven't done anything, anything in that game in a while. How do I know how much membership do I have left on this guy? Is there a way to check? Pretty sure it should be over pretty soon. Friend, Martian Manhunter. Forger has dreamed up an amazing future in here. You see that 
32 mil. Even looks better with only nine skill points. 32 mil is a lot. Turn these in. No, I didn't. Okay. Hey, everything going on. Yeah, no problem. Thank you for saving the cash deck. Thirty oh six. What do I have? Three oh two, same one, three hundred. I need to do that later, I guess. This I can get rid of. What is this? I'm keeping that, right? Yeah, 302. Oh, wait, the controller. I'm tripping. No, this can go. This I'm keeping. Hey guys, welcome to the stream. Okay, so these are at 250 already. I guess I can keep leveling DPS now. Well, hello there. Click triangle. So I can't sell this. Interesting. Okay, this, this, this. Uh, what was I gonna do? Sixteen. All right, cool. I'll do everything else on this tune off stream. I hate imprinting; it takes so long. By the time you figure out your gear and everything. Yeah. <laughs> 
Hey guys, welcome. Dang, even he's got 32 mil. I forgot that I was selling those. do the same thing on him and then I don't know probably run omnibus on this guy <laughs> I mean I could go on my munitions and run the dailies but tomorrow's a reset too so I need to do the eight player stuff on this guy quick run run ninja run two twenty five Don't fall. 
This is so hard to do on uh, super speed. And there we go. Nope. <laughs> I'm only doing this for the gear that it drops. Well, I guess and the justice tokens. Alright, cool. Done. Tomorrow, double justice ends. Which sucks. How much do I even have? Only 89? Well, that's a bunch of crap. Even with double? I haven't used them, I don't think. Yeah, no, I didn't use them. I only got 89. So you're telling me it takes that long to get justice tokens? All my other tunes have a crap ton too. The water, the rage, Green Lantern. But I don't have anything to use it on. They probably have like 200, maybe three. I'd like to use it on the, the bars to level up the necklace, but you need to be 333. Three, three. It's not worth using it on anything else. You have to move. <laughs> Just jumping around him. Oh, crap. That was easy. <laughs> the electric is so fun that you could jump and attack. Me the munitions, I can't do that. That's what makes this tune fun. Event. 
if I need the feet so I could just unlock them. Hey guys, welcome everyone. Why is it so cold? Like one second, it's hot, and now it's cold. And it's 69 in the house. Oh man, the event is so much faster than the regular. Where did that ball just fly? <laughs> We're like all the way over there. Alright, cool. Deadly Hunter Sparebow. Interesting. I'm not sure if I've ever gotten that. Such 
Are you bastard? No. Well done. They don't care. I will help you clean up the mess. Plus six, okay. Nice. Plus five also. Are they fighting the bosses? I'm gonna see. Mm, doesn't look like it. single person is doing one of the boss fights. Hmm. Interesting. DPS for tower. I 
guess I can just queue up for uh, event. Yeah, I guess I'm done with those guys. fighting paradox oh, I guess some people aren't It'd be nice if they can get more people there zip it one more you sound like a dying rat <laughs> with that noise. Oh man. Really? This is a new event, brother. Yeah, sounds good, Star. Go ahead, my man. I might be streaming Destiny 2 in the afternoon. I'm sitting here thinking about it. I need to start playing on it because the Witch Queen is coming out in like less than a month. And I'm really behind on Destiny. I haven't played it in months. So I might, might be on that. Trying to catch up. But yeah, dude, I'll see you in the afternoon, if anything. Always appreciate you, Star. Hey guys, welcome everyone. Thank you. 
Really? Why the hell did it do that again? It's the second time it messed up my orbital. Yeah, the event goes so much faster. Dang, that was quick. Hey, what's up? How are you, Southern? Good morning, brother. Shit, thank you. I like it too. Um, I've done, it's only been like uh, highlighted a few times in my life and uh, yeah, I've done, I've done platinum, I've done silver, I've done just regular highlights, I've done like a few other colors and my favorite was silver. This is silver. So yeah, um, got, I always usually do the haircut this uh, short. And if I, you know, if I have time, because normally it takes like a couple hours to get your hair dyed and, or, you know, bleached and highlighted. So if I have time, I usually do that. And this time around, yeah, I did it. And I think this is the first time it turned out like the best. 
Like all the other times it turned out great, but this this time it turned out like amazing. But this is that's just because this time uh, I actually told her that you know uh, no rush or anything. Uh, I could actually sit here. Normally I was always in a rush to get out of the you know, not get out of there, but like I had stuff to do, so you know try to get it done faster and leave. But this time I told her no, I could sit in the you know lamp uh, heat thingy to heat it up as long as like. I got plenty of time today, so I was just sitting there and it turned out great this time. She liked it, I liked it. So glad you think it's nice, dude. It's just it's just hard and expensive to maintain this. You need to buy special hair shampoo, you need to buy other things and you need to wash it with that like every day and yeah, it's hard to maintain, but it looks nice, I guess. Your health will close perpetual. I have so many people though tell me you should get it dyed again because it looked better than uh, just brown. I mean, they said brown's nice too, but they're like, yeah, definitely highlights look way better on you. So, I should have done it a while ago, but I was too lazy. Damn, nobody's doing one of the boss fights. I'm looking at LFG the whole time, nobody. I need one boss kill to finish my dailies. Pretty sure, right? I need to do that. This. Sorry to have overwhelmed you, but our need is great. There's the bear. What do you want? Alright, so I need five of those, and then, yeah, I also need a beast to kill. Good friend, Martian Manhunter. Your world forger has dreamed up an amazing future in you. Twelve point five mil, side. not bad. You're moving for a job. Is anybody fighting these guys? Oh shit, that's what's up. Are you excited? Or is it just one of those things where it's like, you know, eh? Oh cool, perfect spawn. Uh, I had a job offer also, uh, hey guys welcome to the stream. I don't know if you were in here yesterday. Uh, not really a job offer, but uh, it was my brother. I used to work with, <laughs> my brother works for his boss. Uh, well, yeah, my brother works for somebody, boss. And uh, I used to work with my brother, and cool boss, cool job, it was fun, uh, compared to all the other jobs and stuff I've done, it, it, it was fun and stuff, I had a good time, um, I was a really good worker, everybody, you know, me and my brother are both good workers, I guess, and our boss likes us, and the only reason I uh, quit his job is because I had a better uh, job offer with money-wise, and... I was like, you know, yeah, sure, I guess I'll go work with that other guy, you know, and I went to go work with him for a while, and then, you know, COVID hit, and I uh, got laid off, and it definitely sucked, and then my brother texted me like three or four days ago, uh, our boss wants you back, and he told you he'll give you a raise, uh, 
uh, you know, do you want to come back to work with us? And I was like, and give up streaming for that? Hell no. I was like, never. I love streaming. I was like, no matter what amount of money he offers me, you know, to work, why would I ever go work at a regular job if I could, you know, if I love what I do? Every time I wake up, you know, I'm excited to stream and not, you know, wake up for a job like that, like, you know, just to show up to make money. Even though, you know, I need money, I could use it. Oh, we bakery, very nice. I know those pay well too. Like very well. Well, man, I hope you like it, dude. Sounds great. Yeah, I don't know how much. Yes, uh, he just said you. I mean, if I was making like twenty to an hour there, uh. <laughs> I would assume he would probably be offering me 25, 26 if I did go back, which, you know, like I said, I'm pretty low on money at this point. So I definitely could have used, you know, that job to go make a little bit of money while doing the streaming in the uh, end of the day or something. But that kind of job is just, you know, first of all, it's hard. And, uh, you know, you know, when you get home uh, uh, throughout the day, you just want to, you know, relax and not stream or anything and then i was like why would i ever want to do that in the first place like i like streaming and it took me how uh so much money and time and effort and everything to get this set up and and you know i was like yeah i'm not making you know much on twitch right now but i was like it's not really about that he's like yeah you know uh, uh, this is you know my kind of job right now thing to make money off this while you know living and everything but I told him, I was like, I don't, I'm not really doing this for money. I'm doing this because I enjoy the job. You know, it's just amazing what I do right now. And I was like, you know how much money and time and everything it took me to figure out how to do this and set this up and get this going for me? I was like, there's no way I'm going to give that up to go work at a regular job, bro. No matter how much, you know, money he offers me. And he's like, and my, dad, my brother texted me, uh, it's depressing that you gave up that amount, you know, for Twitch. I was like, okay, man, uh, you know, you have your opinion. I have my opinion. I'm not going to argue with you. It was just funny. It was like, definitely depressing you gave up that amount. Oh, I'm not making much on Twitch right now, dude. Not much. It's not even like, I haven't even hit $100 yet. And how long have I been streaming? Um, six months every day, Monday through Sunday, eight hours a day. Yeah, I'm not making you know enough to live. I'm like I'm like really low on money at this point. Like it's pretty much mainly for food and stuff. But that's like that's another thing. What I was saying, I was like, it's not really about you know me making good money or whatever. I don't care about that. It's it's what I like doing here. It's every time I wake up, you know, I'm excited to stream. Cause I actually enjoy doing this, but I guess my brother, you know, feels differently. And he's like, uh, how long have you been doing that? And you're not making, you know, as much as you, sh you know, would be working at an actual job and stuff. And I was like, again, it's one of those things where it takes time. I'm not expecting it to, you know, skyrocket within a couple of months. And yeah, he was definitely not happy that I turned it down. <laughs> I had other offers too. I had a couple other guys that I used to work for hit me up and say, you know, you want to come back work this and that. I was like, nope. I'm streaming and I'm happy where I'm at. Again, you know, I could definitely go work and, you know, use the money for a little while, but I'm good. I like what I do. I have patience with it. Okay, so this tune is done also with the dailies.
Yeah, that's exactly my point there, dude. So I guess I could do this while I'm... I have that. Let's do duos or solos, maybe. Yeah, that's the same thing for me, dude. Um, I guess I could run the solos that I haven't ran. Actually, wait, no, I don't need to. That's right. What am I doing with the custom tab? Yeah, see, it's the, see, it's, it's the same thing, by the way, uh, Southern, for me. It's not about the money or anything. It's just what I do is the point. Like, I like what I do. What's up, Taysu, by the way? Good morning, bro. Appreciate you for stopping by the stream, bro. Like, I understand, you know, that I'm not making much, and, you know, I'm pretty much broke at this point from streaming because you know i put a lot of money into streaming like a lot like everything that i had i pretty much put into this streaming setup and you know just everything into it and i understand that everybody's worried for me you know what i mean like with with how it is going right now and everything with the money everybody's worried you know how i'm gonna you know get a place to live or whatever you know but i was like I'm good. I don't mind living with my parents for now. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's not, you know, an ideal place to live or whatever, but I don't mind living with my parents for now um, until, you know, st my stream picks up, you know, at some point and uh, then I'll, you know, get my own place and everything, which is like I told them, I was like, it's not going to happen overnight or whatever. Of course, I know that. But again, it's just more about the job. I actually like this. I talked about it all the time to everybody. I'm like, I don't know why I haven't started streaming yet. I really should, blah, blah, blah. And everybody, you know, most of my cousins agreed with me. They're like, you really should, dude. And um, just a few of my cousins, you know, like my brother, my co a couple of cousins, you know, my uh, couple of my family members, like the other, not my, you know, family member, but like other ones, but and they're all like, you know, it's not a real job. You should really find a real job. You, you know, it's not going to get you anywhere. And I'm like, again, guys, that's opinion, man. I don't care about what you guys' opinion is. If you guys don't like that I stream, you know, whatever. I don't care. For me, it's what I like doing. I like doing this. There you go, games. You tell them, bro. Like I told them, I was, I was like, uh, yeah, you know, I mean, my, my, you know, attempt here is, you know, to eventually, you know, make this into an actual job, you know, where, uh, I make money from streaming, you know what I mean, and stuff. But my main thing about it is that it's a job that I enjoy doing. Like every time I, like I said, I would get up and, you know, in the morning and I'm excited to stream. And, you know, every time I'm on here, I have an absolute blast and just play and chill and talk with all you guys. And it's amazing, you know? And then I have like my family members and a couple of friends and other people that are, you know, I mean, there's always going to be assholes, you know, about stuff like this, but it's not going to hurt my feelings. It's just, it's more like, it's either you support me or you don't, you know, I don't care. But I've always talked about it, like, my entire freaking childhood and, you know, growing up, I was like, I don't know why I haven't started streaming, because it's definitely something that could be good at, I know that for a fact, too. And, you know, after I got laid off, I finally, you know, got sick and tired of playing that game of finding a job and dealing with, you know, douchebag bosses and stuff, and yeah, I just finally figured it out, put a lot of money into this stream setup, and I'm talking a lot of money, and you know, I'm not about to give all this up just to go work at a regular job again. No thank you. No matter if he offers me freaking a million dollars. Nope, I'm good. But sometimes what comes out of the air. <laughs> Got a fair point there, dude. It, like I said, it don't hurt my feelings, though. It really doesn't. This is one dead. Is that what is happening? One way to find out. Oh, I guess it was. Okay. 
Oh, by the way, welcome to the stream, guys. I don't know what, I don't, you know, like, it's, it's more like I don't know what their goal was, you know, telling me that streaming is not a job, that streaming isn't a life, that streaming isn't this, you know, and it's like, okay, you know, what's the point of you telling me this? I started this, I like what I do, leave me alone. Just because you don't like it doesn't mean I don't like it. Yeah, and I love this, dude. Absolutely love this. It's it's just like out of everything that I've ever done in my life as a job, and I've done a lot. I've done like everything you guys can think of for a job. I've done it. You know, like everything. Anything construction-wise, I've done it, you know. And, you know, the only reason I've done it is, you know, to find the job that I like doing, you know, and I wanted to stick with it. So I've tried everything, <laughs> literally everything at this point and nothing really was like you know hit my head where it's like okay this is a, this is a job that i want to do for the rest of my life or you know i enjoy doing this nothing absolutely it was just the type of jobs where i came there just to make money and go home that's all it was you know because i need money everybody needs money but as soon as i started this and as soon as i started streaming you know it, it hit me in my head this is my job right here i love doing this like, ever since I started meeting you guys, and ever since I started, you know, just playing, chatting, and, you know, playing with you guys and everything, like, I just had, like, an instant hit where it's like, you know, this is gonna be my thing, I'm gonna stick with it, that's it. And that's what I'm doing, I'm not listening to anybody, I don't care what people's opinions are, you know. I like doing this, I'm sticking with it. I don't think art degrees photography and painting oh yeah i have a i have a lot of friends that are into photography for a job and dude i don't know if they make good money but from the posts that i've seen them put up like uh you know like a hundred photo f um, wedding photo shoot or you know something photo shoot is like thousand dollars for a hundred photos I'm like, who pays that? I was like, I don't care how professional you are, you know what I mean? I'm gonna grab my phone real quick, take a couple of snapshots. There's your pictures, man. I would never pay a hundred dollars for a hundred or a thousand dollars for a hundred photo photo shoot. And some, I guess some people actually pay it because that's, you know, a lot of my friends have that as a job, but it's all they do is take pictures for people with their professional cameras or and they didn't even go to school for it either they don't go to school or anything they're just parents or whatever hooked them up with the camera you know and they just started taking random pictures all over the place and they started posting them and then people starting hitting them up you know like can you take pictures for this and this and that's how most of them started their career with photography none of them went to school for it not that i know of again it's just more like one of those things you know where you start you start something and if you enjoy it stick with it don't you don't need school or anything just put time effort and energy into it and it'll eventually lead somewhere if you don't put no time no effort no energy no nothing into it then of course it's not gonna get anywhere that's why a lot of my cousins are like, dude, you're, you're not going to get anywhere. And I'm like, well, if I didn't put any effort into it, yeah, I wouldn't get anywhere. I agree. But I put a shit ton of effort into this. I'm like, do you guys know how much my stream setup costs? They're like, no. Exactly. If I wasn't serious about this, I wouldn't have bought all that crap. Sounds good, Taser, bro. Good luck with your workout, dude. Enjoy it, man. I used to work out myself. Used to. <laughs> but it got way too time consuming. I had work and other stuff, and yeah, couldn't do it after a while. Um, Some people can be, but like, who do wedding shows?
damn 800 for a wedding photo yeah dude they make good money like i said just to take stupid pictures with a camera that costs like what three thousand i guess i don't know how much those you know big expensive cameras go for but i know they're expensive you know it's just more like one of those things where you know how complicated must it be to take a few pictures you know with you know i can buy a camera like that you know and take a few pictures but i don't think it's that complicated to take a picture with it you know make good pictures anyways but yeah they make good money a lot of my friends that's how I, that's how they make a living is taking pictures and crap it's crazy for pc support specialist uh you, that sounds like something my uh brother-in-law went for but he he went for it uh i think he was like six months into it and he he dropped out because he's like dude everything that they taught me i already knew <laughs> That's what's funny. He's he's super smart in computers, but he wanted to go, you know, go to college to learn a bit more about him, you know, to to see if he knows, yeah, to, well, to see if they can teach him something he didn't already know, you know. And he's like, dude, I went for six months, and only thing they've ever taught me was something I already knew, you know. And he was like, the whole time I was, you know, finished, or the whole time I already, you know, was ahead of everybody. And he's like, I was just sitting there like an idiot, you know what I mean, trying to figure out what else for me to do and then even the teacher was like if you know all this you know why are you here and he's like i was hoping you guys could teach me something else you know something i didn't already know and yeah he dropped out and he became a like a computer genius right now he's he's making like a crap ton of money just uh sitting at home and you know i don't know what he does but something with computers and he makes a shit ton of money dude it's ridiculous But yeah, this it's it's one of those things where he he just grew up smart, you know, with like computers and stuff. Like me, I wasn't that smart with computers, but I was smart with consoles. He he don't know nothing about consoles. He's you know in the console department, he knows nothing. I'm the one that you know showing him what to do and stuff. And then same thing with me. I know nothing about PC, and he knows a lot about PCs. And if I ever need help, you know, I go to him for PC. It's just one of those things where I grew up with console, and he grew up with PCs. So. I know more about consoles than he does, and he knows more about PC. I wanted to go for computer science, mine was a one year old. Yeah, my cars are the same thing for me, uh, for my family, I guess, me and my brother, uh, our car enthusiast junkies, I guess you could say, uh, whenever we have spare time, we always go into the garage and take apart engines and take apart cars and all of that. Yeah, same with us, dude. Uh, like I said, for when we're bored, you know, uh, that's literally what we used to do as kids is go into the garage and take apart shit and put it back together. And me and my brother together can probably put, you know, take apart an engine and put it together within 10 hours, probably, you know, we're pretty quick with it. Our dad taught us everything, I guess, and after he taught us is, you know, when we became addicted to, you know, messing with cars and engines and taking stuff apart, you know, and putting it back together. So me and my brother got fairly good at that. So yeah, it's definitely a good thing, you know, to work on your own cars because it does save you a lot of money and time. Whenever and actually, you know, like it's one of those things where, you know, it comes in handy. Like if you know something ever happens to your car, or you break down in the middle of the highway. You know, you as a person, instead of calling, you know, a mechanic or something like that, you already know what the problem is. You just pop the hood, and you know, you're, you're like, it's like an instant, you know, muscle memory type thing where you just look at it and be like, all right, so this is what it is. It wasn't just 
notoriously British upbringing that made Bruce into who he is today. Hey, do you know how much time me and my brother spent in the garage? A lot. I just don't touch computer parts because yeah, I want to. Me and my brother messed around with computers on cars all the time too. We just, like I said, my dad kind of bought us, you know, project cars, I guess you could say. And, you know, it's like one of those cheap, you know, crappy type cars, you know, not worth too much. But he would just buy that for us, you know, when we're done with the first one, second one, third one. He would just buy us another one and throw it in the garage. And, you know, whenever me and my brother got time or we're not doing anything, you know, we'll just go into the garage and start working on it and you know we can get cars done pretty quickly me and my, our dad even told us several times why the hell have you guys not opened up your own shops yet you know what i mean to work on cars and you know it's one of those things where you know we're both lazy to go and figure out how to get a you know dealership license and uh you know like just everything it's one of those things yeah we're good at it it's a hobby you know it's just i guess it's one of those things just a hobby for us it's not something, you know, that we want to maybe, you know, start as a job or a business, but it definitely could be useful for something like that. But it is a really good thing to know how to work on cars. That was my that was my ex's main thing whenever uh, she found out I could work on cars like that She used to brag about it to all her friends like She used to like, you know send them videos and stuff like that of how I could you know take apart and put a car back together pretty quickly and uh, You know for me, I didn't really care that she was doing that or anything, but it's just you know, it's like I don't really care, you know, what people uh, think what I could do, you know, or whatever. And she's like, yeah, but if, you know, if you could do this, it's definitely impressive. And I'd like to, you know, show my friends that, you know, because a lot of, apparently a lot of kids nowadays, they don't know shit about working on cars or anything. And they don't even know how to change an oil or, you know, simple things. And... It was her first time, you know, meeting somebody, I guess, like me that could do something like that. I guess it was slightly impressive to her that I could do that. And I'm like, when you spend thousands of hours in a garage, it's definitely a handy skill to pick up. It's kind of like gaming. It's I spend thousands of hours as well at gaming. So that's how I became really good at it. So well, he went through with that poorly planned kiss. Why would he do it while he's driving? Invite me to the party. Hello, Kitty. You were outvoted, and it was a good plan. Wayne's lawyer. What the hell? Yeah, I've never done it while driving. Oh, don't throw away that key. We've always me and my brother were only doing something like that with laptop diagnostics and computer stuff, you know, in the garage. And that's just cause, you know, it's a safety thing. There's so much computer and so much, you know, shit about computers and cars. Like, everything nowadays is just, you know, technology, you know, so... There's so much things that you have to know, you know, before doing something like that. It's definitely something you don't want to mess with. If you have no idea, especially what you're doing. You could definitely, like you said, blow with something or break something in your car really easily. With BC, you can get a tablet. So he wanted to. Okay, so you're saying he wanted to make it like a, a like a computer chip. 
Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, that's exactly what I was trying to explain right there. So it records everything. Okay, that makes sense. But still, you do that when you're not driving, though. You set that up, and then you go take it for a test drive. I've never heard of somebody doing that while driving. I mean, we've never done that. Whenever we've always done that, we always were in the garage. First got it set up and, you know, going, and then... Oops. Yeah, no, that's definitely a new one for me, dude. <laughs> if you don't know what you're doing in that department, then you might as well just buy a little uh, computer chip thing where it tells you everything. They're like 200 bucks, but it's definitely just worth having that in the car and it, you know, put it on the windshield or something or in the dash or something. It's so much easier to do that than have a whole damn computer like that. But again, that's just one, you know, somebody that, you know, doesn't know much on dealing with that. And, you know, I guess trying is trying. And... But then again, you know, it's one of those things where if you work on cars, it's definitely a trial and error type thing. <laughs> you, you, you mess up a million times before you get it right. And we've been there a lot. And still, you know, it's still, we, we have a lot of knowledge in cars, you know, and we can definitely put it together and, you know, take it apart really fast. But me and my brother still get to places where we're like, you know, sit there and both look at it and like, what do we want to do here? You know, it still gets to that point a lot of times. You think, you know, you could just boom, boom, boom. Sometimes, yeah, it does work like that. You just quick and, you know, you don't think, you just do it. But sometimes you get to spots where you just look at it and be like, what do we do here? I don't know. It's definitely funny when we both hit that. Sometimes we even have to go ask our dad, you know what I mean? Like, what do you think we should do here? Then he's like, come on now, you know, and I don't know, he's just, he's had, you know, de definitely a ton, you know, more years and experience in it, but he just, you know, comes up usually and does a couple of things. He's like, you guys could have done that. And we're like, oh, you know, we could have, but we were thinking of something more like, you know, this or that. And he's like, why just do it this way? And it's done, you know, but like I said, he's just a lot more years and experience than us. Definitely have a lot of respect and love for my dad. He could have definitely, like I said, not taught us anything about cars or anything, but when he used to work on them, me and my brother used to enjoy watching, so he started slowly teaching us and we got into it. And like I said, thinking about it now is, I've heard so many, you know, guys nowadays and you know teenagers that know nothing about cars i know like in my my day and age uh a lot of my friends you know that's 25 24 23 and that kind of range that every single one of them know how to work on cars all these simple things you know but the teenagers now apparently i was told that they don't know nothing i was like that's crazy dude like me, I'll definitely teach my kid, you know, how to do something simple, like oil change at least, or like if he's not a car enthusiast, you know, it's fine. It's totally fine. Not everybody is, but it's definitely handy to at least teach, you know, something simple like oil because your oil is expensive to change at a shop and you could just do it yourself for like 40 bucks. Oh, I need to go get that guy over there. Keep forgetting. What the heck are you doing over there? Oh, that's one of our dream things to do right there, dude, is uh, uh, fix up a classic. I don't know. We keep talking about it with my brother, but I haven't done it or started it for some reason. Change tires, brakes. 
Yeah, like all those little things, dude, they add up. When you can just do it yourself for definitely a lot cheaper and faster than paying a shop to do something like that. Yeah, dude, me and my brother do want to fix. My dad even wants to join, you know, like keeps talking about how when are you going to buy a classic, you know, already, you know, fix it and, you know, put it together and use it as like a family car or, you know, like anybody that wants to take it out once in a while, you know, we all pitched in with the work, you know, to get it fixed up and running. But I don't know when that's going to be. We do want to do that eventually. I don't know what classic we want to do, but it's got to be at least like what you said, the Camaro, like the 1960s or... Uh, a charger. My dad wants the 1960s uh, charger or challenger or something, you know, Camaro SS, something along those lines. I think it's just more like finding, I guess, a body and then finding all the parts that you need for it is what is like gonna be annoying to do for some of us <laughs> because you know if you have newer cars they're easier to find parts on ebay or for something like anywhere but for a car like that you're gonna have to actually you know try to look in different places for parts because they're rare and everything but it would be nice to do something like that eventually Oh my gosh. A lot now you have to find sometimes you can Yeah, I know you don't have to do everything at once, but, you know, it's it's me and my brother just, you know, if we have something like that, we'd like to, you know, order all the parts at once and have it all, you know what I mean, like there so we could just, you know, put it together as fast as possible and everything. We don't like doing the type of thing where, you know, some people buy cars and some people put it in the garage, buy one part like once a month, you know what I mean, or something like that. And it takes like years for them to fix a car up. We definitely don't like doing that. For us, if we buy a car like off auction or something, which w what we do, we don't buy cars, you know, anywhere else, but auction and fix them up and stuff. But, you know, we order all the parts right before the car even comes to our house. You know, we as soon as we buy it, we know it's ours. We go on eBay, go on all the other places, order all the parts. And by the time, you know, that happens, they all come in and we have every single part needed. And we just instantly put it all together within a day, if not faster, depending what we need, you know, done to it. Oops, I forgot to wait for him. I hope he makes it. You better run, dude. Crap. Uh-oh. And he's just standing there, okay. Well, he's screwed. That's what happens when you take your time. <laughs> I 
It is funny though, uh, since me and my brother, you know, we're f really good at fixing cars, you have no idea how many of our friends and, you know, stuff like that, whenever they have some problem with their cars, instead of taking it to a shop, you know, like a normal person, if they don't know what to do with their car, they, most of the time they call us. <laughs> hey yo, this happened in my car today, or hey yo, this is happening in my car, you know, what do I do? I had, it's so funny that they know, you know, they know nothing about that, man. We have to sit there through the phone sometimes, explain it to them, you know. Or if that doesn't work, we have to go over there, you know, wherever they're at right now. And help them figure out what happened. And it's definitely something hilarious, in my opinion. It's always one of those phone calls from a friend. Random, you know, we don't talk to them for a while. And they just randomly hit you up. Hey, this happened. I need help. What time is it? Two hours, 12 o'clock. I'm starving. Drones, man. Is that it? Sucks I didn't have my super. Should be done with the duos. What is this? Neck? Worn coin pendant? Um, I think these are all pretty crappy, so I don't need them. So I think I'm gonna grab this guys. I'm gonna think I'm gonna end the stream here guys. And then I'll um since I finished this, I'm probably gonna hop on Destiny 2 after lunch. Cause um what's his um Witch Queen is coming out in like less than a month and I haven't played on Destiny 2 in so long and I'm like pretty sure I'm behind on everything. So I'm gonna probably hop on that after lunch and see if I need to catch up or do anything specific. If, if you know, it's not too much and I don't need anything specific out of it, I'll probably hop back on this game, but Green Nectar, well, seven of them. But I think I'm gonna hop on first Destiny 2 after lunch and play that for a little while.
Alright guys, I'll see you guys later if anything. Thanks everyone for being here guys, appreciate it.